Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages today, we are so glad and happy to have with us Lydia Vitali and Gabriel Fabro, the director and star separately of a really good movie playing at the Austin Film Festival called The Grand Bolero. Is that correct? Did I say that right, Gabriel? I heard of this. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> all right. So, Gabriel, why don't you tell us a little bit about the film since you are the director of the film and the writer of the film? So. Uh, okay, so Grand Bolero is a narrative feature, 90 minutes. It's a romantic thriller uh, about um, this pipe organ cleaner, which is Roxanne Lidia Vitale here. Um, and she's like really graft. Um, she locks herself during the lockdown in Italy. She locks herself in a church to repair an organ. And uh, throughout the movie, she basically becomes uh, in love with her new assistant, which is this young girl. She's mute. Um, so she can communicate with her um so she falls in love so like the whole story it's really about her shifting of, of obsession from the organ to this uh young girl you know um and it's a thriller so like it's like an escalation of suspense until this climactic scene that evo that involves the Ravel's bolero uh famous classical piece i like that description very beautiful piece too by the way P perfect for the escalating uh tension between the two characters I, I have to ask you, and, and this goes for L Lydia as well, uh, what, what is it like working together in the conditions that you had to put this film together? Go ahead, Lydia. Craziness. <laughs> we were in the epicentric of the pandemia in Italy, in Lodi. Um, that was just a, a very low budget movie. So when you are in such a condition, you're really managing to you know, to, to go to the end of the movie, to get to the end. So the, all the effort was, let's get to the end and let's move on. I'm, I'm sure that the conditions must have been crazy because of, it, Italy got very hit, hit very hard with this pandemic at the beginning, especially. So I'm sure that, but I'm glad to see that you guys all made it out and you guys crafted a, a movie that is uh, suspenseful and uh, a little bit sexy. I like it. It was, it was, <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> um, I, I'm glad. I'm glad. That's good. And now I wanted to ask you guys, um, really, now with working with Ludovica, it seemed like it was, this is one of her first features. Working with her must have been unique because it's one of her, it's her first feature. How was that? Um, I mean, to me, as, as a director, both Lydia and Ludovica were really like uh, the best I could have worked with. You know, they, are, they were super professional, you know, uh, we had meetings before on set they were helping me out also on the script level you know like i remember um both lydia and ludovica they were like taking out lines you know like they were doing rehearsals on set you know uh and you know like so they really helped me out uh with this movie um now if lydia you want to talk more about like you and Ashley, ludovica how you work together really, okay i'm i knew i, I met ludovica in a in a in a in an artistic residence for 10 days last the the, the year we, that we shot the movie and, and she she was really at the beginning so i really kind of took care of her really i did the the training with her i really was like a i became a sort of coach sometimes also and the co-lead so it was uh was was tough was intense was uh was what for me is like uh you know, really, especially for Italy, really to create a new generation of actors and to bring something that, so for me, it was like another daughter. I like that. I like that. Now, I'm going to stick stick with you here, Lydia. Your character is a bit rough around the edges. She is not a very <laughs> nice <laughs> She's not very nice. But how do you really? get into the headspace to play a character oh, like yeah. that, that has, that, that has an obsessive personality? Okay, as I already said in another interview, obsession is easy because when, when you are an actor, you are supposed to be obsessed. And so I took the obsession from, from the work. So since I was a young, a young actress, I was been told, you gotta be obsessed with your job, otherwise you're gonna never make it. So obsession comes directly from there. Um, on the other side is like really go, I love to go deep down in the darkness of people. I think all of us, we have a dark side. So it's, uh, it's so beautiful to have the compassion 
to get there with no judgment and really embrace the humanity. I like that answer. That's that you can really tell that you're 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 keying in on something dark and it comes out in the performance. And so I really wanted to say that you did an ex amazing job of channeling that and getting me as the audience to to buy into what you were saying. Now Thank you. Let's talk a little bit about you guys individually. Uh, we talked about the film. Who, for each of you, and I, I'd like an answer from each of you, are inspirations in what you do? Who inspires you as, as say, a director or as an actress? Um, well, okay. <laughs> Man, those wow. are like, I mean, I, the list, it's like endless. But like, I would say for this movie in particular, uh, I watched a lot of Tarkovsky, uh, weirdly, but... <laughs> Especially the cinematography, like uh, me and Jessica really like studied uh, Tarkovsky, um, how he managed to like do the composition on you know, the blocking of the characters. A lot of Hitchcock actually also. Uh, it was a lot of, oh, of course, suspense, come on. <laughs> uh, but Hitchcock was another big influence. And then uh, Ennio Morricone and the Sergio Leone's work. That's uh, because of the music. You know, I'm a strong believer of what Sergio Leone said he said in an interview that uh, Ennio Morricone was his uh, best screenwriter. And it, I do think that like music, it's part of the screenwriting and it has to, it has to be that, you know? So I was really like thinking a lot about uh, those movies, like those Westerns when um, thinking about this movie, you know? Yeah. Ironically, those Italian Westerns. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the spaghetti Western. Spaghetti Westerns. <laughs> Uh, obviously, you know. And now, for you, Lydia, who are some inspirations? Okay, even for me, endless list of master and mentors in my life. Especially for this movie, usually I choose a star to put behind me and to support me around the world. And this time I've chosen uh, Glenn Close and her Fatal Attraction movie because she was really the master of the obsession. She really has been the master in the obsession in that movie. And I love that work so much that I really chosen her choices are, you know, I really get into the obsession is, oh, she was. That is a great choice, Lydia. Yeah, it's been, yeah I mean, uh, luckily, luckily no rabbits were killed in your movie. So spoiler alert to everybody, there is no <laughs> rabbit who die in this movie. Uh, no. <laughs> I think that's a great, great answer, Lydia. I really do. Now, I'm going to ask you guys the hardest question that I'm going to ask you of the day before I get to some more fun stuff about your movie. You guys can only watch two films for the rest of your life. What two films are you picking and why? And I saw you mute. I heard you. I Lydia, I'm going to make you start. I'm just kidding. Go ahead, Gabriel. You can start, buddy. <laughs> uh, just Lydia, take over because <laughs> this is no way. No way. <laughs> Okay, flash dance forever, <laughs> so I can I can keep dancing until the end of my days. <laughs> and uh, the reason why I do this job is flash dance. That was where my dream started. I love it. Time. And uh, wow, damn! Yeah, I right. Know. I know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my gosh, that's difficult. It's okay. It's always hard. Okay, Shutter Island. So I, I look for a different, different <laughs> version of it. I like it. Scorsese, I like it. That's a good answer. Oh Great uh, answer. Now, uh, we've, we've just turn. put all the pressure on Gabriel here. <laughs> I, I'll just go for it. Okay, 2001, uh, Space Odyssey, and The Conformist. Like, okay. Okay. I think those are the movies that I keep watching and I keep getting impressed by all the time. <laughs> well, yeah, I, yeah, there are so many, man. Like it's so difficult to put, but yeah, I would say let's just go with this too. <laughs> it is, especially being uh, an Italian director. You have some, uh, some big, big, big wigs to live up to. You know what I mean? Wow. Yep. You yeah, know? we we have a pretty uh, great uh, cinema history. Yeah, especially I mean, in the '60s and '70s. The yeah, I, we have I a lot. I don't know if you know this, but this is a good stat for you. The country that's won the most foreign language Oscars is Italy. Yep. <laughs> they have yep. 14 of them. And I thought that was so interesting. I'm like, oh, 
Wow. Okay. Me being uh, me being uh, the the weird statistician that I am, I had I looked that up. I was like, let me make sure I have this stat ready just in case because I'm speaking to two Italians. I have to have this ready. You're doing great, man. <laughs> Thanks. But also, um, you know, you know, watching the Serie A helps me get your names right. So, you know, I, I've seen Chiellini and Pirillo many, many a times, so I can get these names right. Oh, um, nice. <laughs> it helps. Now, I wanted to ask you something really interesting about uh, about that, that I found about the film. You mentioned uh hitchcock is one of the inspirations there's a shot towards the end of the movie that's uh, uh the one i'm talking about reveals the characters in in a natural way if you get what i'm saying mm-hmm. it's shot in a such a way where it's framed like a hitchcock shot there's something in the way of the camera and we're looking through it to the characters now did you block that on purpose was that done uh, in memory of him or how, why was that done well that's the thing like um Honestly, I didn't think about, for him, for Hitchcock, I was more about like the suspense that was like, you know, like basically like, this is the goal of the scene. Let's extend it, you know? Let's mm-hmm. not give it away to the audience yet, mm-hmm. you know? So I was really like working on that uh, most of the time. But like for the camera work, um, it's mainly a lot of like the POV stuff, you know, like the, what the character is seeing, we see it, you know, we cut to it, you know? Actually, like the editing process was all about that, you know, just like, Watching Lydia, watching Ludovica, whatever they were doing, I need to show what they're looking at, you know, and follow them around, you know. Um, and that's that was a lot of Hitchcock. Um, I don't know if there is a specific shot like you're thinking about, like towards the end, you say? Yeah, I'm not going to reveal too much because I want people to watch the movie themselves. Okay, yeah. Um, but so, yeah, like, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're not. I can understand we which scene, so I don't want to know. Okay, yeah, yeah. We're not going to say that. But let's just say this. Let's just, I'll leave it like that for now. Okay, so that's a great answer, and I wanted to press you on Ooh, that a little bit. Yes. Sorry, man. Like, I completely forgot about him. Uh, w. Griffith. Um, that's another inspiration for the POV. I, like, hope, I, hope like, solely, I hope solely for his direction and not his personal choices. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but D.W. Griffith, personally, not a good person. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, especially here in America, know, but... <laughs> you know, uh, we have some problems there. Uh, birth of a nation, not a great, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. We studied it so much, I, I also don't like it, but yeah, let's not go there, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But you get what I'm saying, so uh, I'm gonna press you on that a little bit because you mentioned the tension. I've never in my life wanted so much for a dog to either find someone or leave in my life as I did the scene in, toward in the final act of the movie revolving around Lydia's character and then the other character uh I don't remember that character's name but uh, Lucia uh, no 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 not him the, the male character oh Paolo yeah the the one that uh we meet in the forest yes yeah yeah I've, I've never wanted a dog so much to either find a person or leave in my life because that tension just builds as you're watching this do- guard dog walk around and I'm like just leave please so so let him go <laughs> just leave 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 and the dog just ha- is that what you meant by trying to create tension with the camera, the POVs? Because that's exactly, yeah. you're seeing exactly what her character is seeing. Yeah. Now, exactly. And now I wanted to ask you, Lydia, on the page, does it read as tense as what you thought it would? Or was the tension really crafted in the editing room and by your performance? Or was it on the page pretty tense? Um, Gabriela can say that I really contributed a lot in creating the atmosphere and really bring him and care. You know, sometimes when you're young, you go by your head, you go by, and I'm really passionate and really work from the bottom of the material, really deep down there. So sometimes a really revolutionary (laughs) moved into the scene and uh, really try to, you know, force them to to crash into the scene, to to break through, to to really improvise also. And you know once you have the the rules you have to break it yeah well you need to break it because so you learn to manage the rules really i like that yeah i think that helped also like um in general that that also helped like uh i think yeah i was like more on like the heads like okay where this is going you know i was overseeing what was happening and i was making choices based on like the story you know uh, but Lydia, she, she was a volcano in terms of emotion, you know, so she would always give us like something different, you know, she was pushing the other actors to give something different all the time, you know. So I think that, you know, 
that way we 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 balanced each other you know what i mean yeah. and i think that 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 contributed a lot to the movie i like that yeah there has to be a symbiosis between you and your actors and i think that's what you're saying is that you got that dead on what you wanted now I'll, let's go ahead and move on to where people can see this i know it's currently playing at the austin film festival is that right but yeah. after that what's the plan play tonight huh when he's gonna play tonight no no it's playing on the 24th so sunday okay, okay yeah. cool so it's playing Sunday um, at Austin Film Festival. When can they see it after the festival? Uh, okay, uh, for now it's just going to festivals because we are still looking for distributions. Gotcha. Um, we have a couple of offers, but we didn't uh, we didn't sign on one yet. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, so I can't I can't give you an exact date. Um, I'm pretty confident that we can say next year. That's when this is going to be like released. You know, and people can see. For now, just festivals. So, Austin Film Festival, San Luis Film Festival. Um, Salerno. Is Inter- exactly. Um, in Italy, we have uh, Linea d'Ombra in Salerno and uh, another one that we can't name yet. Okay? It's going to be in Rome, though. <laughs> oh, like, I like. Okay, Rome. That's the big boy yeah. city right there. All right. Yeah. No, I re- yeah. I'm actually really excited because uh, I'm here alone. It's beautiful because the movie Austin- will be in Rome. I come from Rome and now I will not be there probably. Because I mean, we love shooting. It's a yeah. It's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ironic that you're from there and you can't even like be there because you're busy working. It's okay though. At least you're working, right? Yeah, and I love see, it. That's the best part. Now, that's great. I love that answer, and thank you for telling me because that means that they're gonna get time to listen to our interview to hear you guys talk about this. And when it does hit us here, especially here in the states, they're gonna be excited to check it out. So I wanted to thank you guys for your time today because you did not have to take time to talk to me and I appreciate it. Uh, thank now, you. Like, come on. <laughs> what's, been, next, like, so humble. what's next for you guys? Um, I'll, I'll start. I'm writing another feature um, and it's still like on development phase. So like uh, I'm still writing with the Italy, the, the co-writer for this, for this mm-hmm. film. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, we're probably going to be ready to pitch it uh, next year. All right, and and you said you're working right now. I know you probably can't talk about that, but what's next for you, Lydia? Okay, I'm just finished. Oh, I just oh, finished right. Drops of God, directed by Odette Raskin, in which I'm a guest star in an episode. And I'm on, just starting the 25th, the shooting of this amazing Italian movie, directed by Pippo Mezzapesa with an amazing character. Another good girl, as usual. And, <laughs> and, and, uh, I love the girl. Yes. And, yes. <laughs> and I'm very excited. This really the, the training is uh, awful and it's just crazy. It's amazing. So it's great. I love and it. I, and I'm writing my movie too. As oh, a see? There you go. I can't wait to see that. Let <laughs> us know when draft. that. I got a big prize from the government team in Italy to write the, 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 the script. So I just finished the first draft and hopefully next year I'm on set as a director. Yes, they're, 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 if they're giving away money, I'll take some. <laughs> Let them know. I, I will take some of that money. Now, I wanted to say thank you so much to Lydia Vitali and Gabriel Fabro for joining me today. I appreciate you guys. Make sure you, if you get a chance to check out the Gran Bolero that you do. Uh, ciao, guys. Thank you so much. Oh, ciao. Ciao, bellissimo. Thank you for your time, really. Thank you. Oh, that's it.